we interrupt RandoCraft to bring you something completely different. How you doing, YouTube? And welcome to a new game called Stage 9, which is basically a virtual tour of the USS Enterprise D. And I am super excited to finally be making a video of this for you guys. The 0.007 Alpha was just released, or is it 0.07? I may have added an extra zero in there, I don't know. But the good news is, it's out, and I'm finally prepared to make a video for it. So let's get started. You guys can see I am now officially based at um, DS9, which is where the Enterprise is currently parked, or docked, or whatever. So, let's get this party started! Ha! Alright. Shuttle, uh, I don't know what her name is, cleared for launch. Cleared for departure, as they say. The, um, the creator, I don't know his real name, so I'm just gonna call him the creator. Managed to, to recreate DS9, and he brought it up to scale. He went through the effort to make this, this particular model to scale. We're still going backwards. I want to make sure that I can give you guys a good, legi legitimate view of the majesty that this space vehicle is. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. I am talking about that. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the model of this vessel, the, the exterior model is to scale. And you guys will see once I actually make it up there. This is absolutely super impressive. And there is where I need to embark. Shuttle, what's her name? Shuttle Suzy Q to <laughs> to Enterprise. I am ready to embark, or mount, or whatever. Disembark, maybe. Here we go. Let's see how good I can park this baby. Please don't bug out, please don't bug out, please don't bug out. Yes! Oh, by the way, this over here, you can actually manually separate the saucer section using this control panel here while you're on the outside, so that's pretty cool. Although this this vehicle is still a little bit buggy. Can you sit in this? No, you can't, not yet. Oh well. Anyway. It's time to get to the grand tour of this ship. Eh. Oh, uh I didn't do a too bad of a parking job. Oh well. Now like any good shuttle pilot, I should really shut the door. Excellent. Welcome to the USS Enterprise, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Welcome to the Shuttle Bay Corridor. Now, to start off the tour, we are going to start with the bridge. Muzak? Oh, that's just tacky. It's not really part of the game, I just put it in here to make everything more interesting. Main bridge. Let's start off on the bow. Let's start off on the bow turbo lift. It's not too bad. Oh, they also added some... They also added these deck lights. Whenever the turbo lift moves by them, you get these these lights. I like how they added all that in. Here we go. Welcome to the bridge. It is really devoid of life. Hang on. I think we can activate NPCs. And here they are. Whoa! Okay. Uh, maybe that was a bad idea. A little too much meth? I should say yes. Dr. Crusher been on the stuff again. Right, bridge tour. Let's start out with the 
emergency turbo lift, which we see in episode 1 to get to the battle bridge. It doesn't work yet. There's nothing to actually move it. There are no controls in here yet, but maybe soon there will be. Everything here looks almost exact, even though this corridor isn't really in um, the uh, isn't really in the series. It's good to have it in here anyway, and it's fancy too. Welcome to the Observation Lounge. It just looks so excellent. I mean, look at all the detail in here. Except for this. That's the only part that really catches my eye in a, in a bad way. You can sit in the chairs. Pretend like you're being part of the meeting. Wait a second. These flower pots. They used to be round, and they used to be white. I'm glad that they added a little bit of extra oomph to it. A little extra color, a little extra this and that. I like it. I like it a lot. Here's the tactical station where you can stand, like when the captain asks you to uh, open a channel or open a hailing frequency. Here you are. Make it so. Aye, Captain. Wait. <gasps> no. What have I done? <laughs> Just kidding, we're still here. You can also play around with red alert. The sound doesn't last forever, which is good because it's super annoying. And you can also go to condition green. Now in the future, I think he want, the creator wants to add um, a blue alert and yellow alert, but so far right now we just have red and condition green, but that it's all good. Let's go to the captain's ready room. Alright, let's have a look-see. Here's the window where Picard spends many hours just gazing deep in thought trying to figure out how to get inside Luoxana. Talking to his imaginary friend, I don't know, Nagilam, maybe. You can sit at his desk, mess around with some of the stuff that's around here. Oh yeah, you can use tricorders too. You can set it to scan. So yeah, this is pretty cool. You can close it too. Oh well. And when you stand on top of the objects you drop, they disappear. Very interesting. You can also play around with other objects in here like um, phasers. I think there was one in here. Yeah, here it is. Here's the hand phaser. Actually, this doesn't look like the regular TNG phaser. This looks like the Voyager style phaser, which I guess is alright because um, we are in a future of Star Trek, so it would make sense that um, this would be here. Just look at those warp star effects that they put in here. Also the beam effect, that's really cool. Alright. You can also pick up a pad and start working. See, it actually looks like you're you're working on something. Let's go to deck two. What the heck? What? Oh, that was scary. He just came here for the music, didn't he? Ah, here we are. That was so incredibly weird. This is something that I really like about the Enterprise is that. Within certain corridors, we have these these random rest areas so that we can, you know, have a seat. Because uh, when people are walking up and down and back and forth and all around the ship all day long, you your legs tend to get a little tired. So you can always just come here, have a seat, rest your legs, relax, 
contemplate life, and then jump into the war plasma in the cell chamber. I know what I have to do. Whoa, was that just a scene of me about to jump into the war plasma in the cell chamber? Wow, I haven't even been there yet. It's like you guys can see into the future. Alright, enough of that. Back to the tour. Let's start out with the cargo elevator room. This is kind of cool. I love the style. I like the texture. Or whatever this is. The decals are just super amazing. Unfortunately, none of this is really active yet, but these elevators are supposed to run to and from different cargo bays around the ship for extra storage space. At least that's my guess. Escape pods! Awesome! Wait a sec. Here we go. Cool! So long, suckers! Oh. You can't actually get in them. There is no escape from the Enterprise. Dang it! Now I have to get back to the tour. Next up, I believe, is Lieutenant Commander Worf's quarters. Fantastic! Just look at the just look at the detail around here. They have the shield. They have Worf's um, really bizarre alien chair, which my butt is getting really uncomfortable right now. Got to get off this thing. I mean, it's okay, but it's just really uncomfortable. Klingons were really not known for comfort, were they? <gasps> Pocket phaser. They have these too. Oh man! Oh my gosh, this works. It totally works. This is just awesome. We have Worf's little red bed here. I don't know if it's showing in um, in my screen right now, but it's definitely red. Like maroon, dark red. More chairs. This one's actually more comfortable for my legs. Oh cool, they added a blue texture to these things too. I love it. Here we have Worf's little shrine area so that you can praise the Klingon gods. Praise be to Kalis, who gave us all of this, who gave us all of uh, the good times in, in Star Trek. I don't know. I don't know what I'm praising Kalis for. You have the bat and left. Oh, wait, I got stuck on the table. Help! Okay, here we go. Here's the bat left. The traditional Klingon weapon thing, which I can't use. Here's that picture that Data gave Worf in the uh, Parallels episode for his birthday. Now, the creator actually uh, designed this painting to randomly change over time. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't seem to be working anymore in this update, which is kind of sad, but life goes on. Next up should be the... nope. Next up should be... Crew Lounge. This is like a this is like a scaled down version of um, Ten Forward. I really do like what's going on around here. And we have the replicators. We have areas where you can order food just by tapping the panels, but really, it's just much easier to use the vocal commands. <laughs> oh, good. They um. They anchored down the tables because uh, before, when you walked up to the tables, they would move around. But this is good. They've anchored them down now. This is great. And I think this is supposed to be like a roster of something. Maintenance. Where's Data's quarters? They were supposed to be around here somewhere. Here they are. Now since Data's an android, he doesn't really need to sleep. Hence the no need for um, a bed. Actually, I think he does have a bed. I think it's in it's in like this room or something, but we can't get in here yet. See? Can I sit here? Yes, we can! We can admire all the abstract art that goes on in Data's room. Or we can just sit here and watch him work. I love watching Senpai work. Okay, that was creepy. Hey, Tasha! How you doa? Probably too soon to ask, right? Right? I am so sorry. I have an idea for an NPC. I wonder if he's added it or not. Nope. They've just he's just created a a person sitting there. Alright, well. Should really make an NPC of Spot, the cat. Just saying. Just saying. Alright. 
I think that was pretty much it uh, on this area. I mean, there there are supposed to be crew quarters on this side. Unfortunately, all there are here are um, are the uh, escape pods, and I don't think they've added any new any new crew quarters just yet. But I think they're working on that. Next deck, 